Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Fishing Planet. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you need to fish Qualifier 3 of the Pike uh, Winter Pike Tournament. But first we are going to start with the good news. So I'm through to the semis. There is still some time that people need to fish, but uh, I'm almost sure that I go to the semis. I don't expect that they are going to jump over me. Uh, I was already yesterday sure, so I had a weight in my head around yeah 7.8 i was very close to 7.8 that you need to have and uh it was really cool so i saw my video today of the tournament the second one that i made yesterday and it was a little bit prophetic words because i said uh, this spot the last spot spot number four is going to make that you go to the semis or not and that was true i had so much rng until the last 30 minutes and i had on that spot five fish almost 0 0.8 and uh, i jumped from 10th to first place uh, so that was uh, really cool i was really amazed by how many uh people are still in front of me because this weight what i got at the moment was previous year the fourth place uh, now you got so many guys and i think this one 7.83 or something was the first place so all those guys they got now more uh, so the level is a lot higher those days is a lot harder to get to the semis uh, i was really amazed because i didn't i was thinking to be fourth or fifth but I'm now 11th, uh, so uh, it's uh, yeah, it's a lot higher the level of fishing than uh, before. But I'm happy. I'm very happy because I'm very excited for Emerald. Emerald is one of my favorite lakes. I fished a lot over there when I was leveling. Uh, I just like the place. But back to Qualifier 3. So it's in White Moose Lake, Alberta. And what is the target fish is pike. It can go to the trophy. I think it will go to 7.5-8 kilogram. Uh, you will not catch 50 trophies. So the maximum that I got in one hour are three trophies. So you are looking, if you are very lucky and you got every hour three trophies, you can get 24 trophy pike. So I don't need to say more. It's very RNG driven. Uh, it's not that fun because you need to throw the whole time at the same spot. You need to do the whole time the same. There is nothing that is going to, to change. Just the same two hours uh, and you need to have the RNG. I did it two times with this qualifier that I made the semis. Uh, so don't change stuff. Don't change stuff. It does not work, guys. I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. Just do that. If you got at that moment, keep fishing because that's normal. You're not going to catch a shitload of fish, uh, but you need to keep doing it. It's a little bit, uh, yeah, not so fun. But yeah, if you want to make it, you need to do it. So I'm going to start with the setup. So you guys can see what do you need to use here? Jerk baits. Uh, so what did I do? I fished a half hour with the titanium leader. And I didn't get one fish, so I throw it off and I had right away three trophies. Does it matter? The testing was too slow for it or too uh, short for it to say yes. But I never got bitten off here. But be sure that you got an extra pair of jerkbait with you. Uh, I'm only going to fish with the titanium leader if I make the finals. I never see a benefit from it. I did already a lot of testing on Pike. You can do it with the bobber if you want to see what titanium leaders are doing. Go to Michigan, throw your bobber in the Pike Alley with the titanium, without the titanium. And just see the fish coming and they swim away with titanium. Uh, so that's what titanium leaders do for you. So I'm not using it. Can you get bitten off? I don't know. I never got it here, but be sure that you got an extra pair of jerk baits. The setup, the Zoys. The 217, uh, the Kraken, I like to fish with the Kraken if I can. We are going with the Braid, the 20.85, and then we are going with the Jerkbait. What works really well, I tested 5 Jerkbaits. So I tested this one, uh, 4 Jerkbaits, sorry. So always go with the 6 O's, never go with the 3 O because you're going to get too many small fish. Why the Jerkbaits? Because most of the time you only get pike. If you go with something else, you get uh, the salmon here, you get the lake trout, you get the perch, you get the trouts. You don't want them, you want pike because it's a pike uh, tournament. This was not good. 
Uh, I'm not sure why it's not good, but it was not good. The striped jerk bait, that's the one that I used previous year, and that's how I made the semis. I tested it, but I didn't get a trophy. It was mediocre, it was in between. The two best ones were this one, but that's an X-Series. I had back-to-back -back with this one a trophy and three in an hour. Uh, but yeah, it's very hard to get. I got it from a competition, uh, so not everybody is getting it. And this was really good. This jerk bait works really well too, but it's 25 bait coins. I think there are a couple of more, but you guys can test it yourself. You see right away what is happening. So you start at 11 a.m. You got action right away if your jerk bait works. If you don't get action, there is something wrong. Because it's the whole time that you get the same action everywhere. So be sure that you know that if you do some testing with other jerk baits. This was really good. Uh, the X-Series and the Stripe Jerk Bass Mediocre. Don't use this one. It does not work. So you can see here my fish keeper net. This is from two hours in-game fishing. So the X-Series. You can see it right away. Two trophies. Then the Jerk Bait that I just showed you guys. This one. I got the, the trophy. And I got a lot of fish. Because you can catch a lot of fish. Be sure that you got this kind of net. Because if you don't get it. Uh, yeah, there is something wrong with the setup because the fish bites. How does it work? So you will start at 11 a.m. You start a little bit before the best time. So uh, therefore there is action the entire time. You will fish from 11 to 7 p.m. Uh, so uh, yeah, here you can see it. And uh, there was something else that I need to say. I think that I'm now fishing at the, the tournament. It was very hard, but... I just try to get on the tournament setting. That does not mean that it's always just the same. No, but it's closest that you can get to the real tournament setting. So it's northwest wind 1.7 meter per second. So let's have a look because you can see it here. Yeah, so here it is. So I started at the tournament. I was really lucky. So this is the starting setting weather wind type. The first moment that you come in the tournament for the guys that don't know it. And I'm fishing at the moment. So what do you need to do? You need to come to the dam road. <laughs> to the dam road. And then you need to position you in this way. That you can throw always here. That's very important. The pike are sitting everywhere here. So you need to get all the way to your uh, yourself. So don't stop here. No, all the way to you. Uh, because previous year I had at the end two very big pikes just in front of me. Uh, so you just throw to this tree. You go between, uh, just near this log because they are sitting here. Then you come to here and you can catch them here too. That's all what you need to do. The presentation is very important too. It's, uh, it looks a little bit idiot. But you just need to keep doing it. So just start drilling with speed 1. And you just jerk. The twitching is what you need to do. Do the whole time twitching, it works the best. The twitching can go away, that's normal because I got bites. That was a bite, that was a bite, but that's good. That small fish, you don't want small fish, you want tro trophy pike. That's very important. So you just do this for two hours and then you need to have the RNG. You will get 15 trophy northern pikes and if you're very lucky, you go to the semis. I cannot say more what you need to do. Just keep doing it. Be sure that you, uh, yeah, that the jerk bait jumps a little bit from the bottom, but that uh, it will do that. I got the impression that later on in the the tournament, the pike sometimes strikes a little bit closer. I never had that at the start, but previous year it was like 5 to 6 p.m. that I got two trophies a little bit closer maybe they move a little bit closer to the shore that's a possibility too so let's throw to the log on the other side you don't need to do a full throw because this setup is throwing a little bit further uh, than really needed but yeah you can just do it it's a nice marker and there was another bite but you just need to keep doing it. Don't don't think that you're doing something wrong with all those small bites. No, that's just small fish. That does not mean that you're doing something wrong. It works. So take it and don't think that that's trophy pike. No, trophy pike will get the lure. 
they will not do bites like this. So I just do this the whole time. And I hope that I can get a fish. Because I didn't get one trophy in this hour. That sometimes can happen too. I'm not sure how that comes. But uh, that's how it works. And then the next hour you can have maybe three again. The next hour one. Then you get two. Uh, so never think that you always get two. It, it can happen that you don't get two trophies. So uh, it's it's very random. But this is the way that you need to fish this competition. So I'm going to do one more throw because I want to show you guys a pike. Uh, but if it is not happening, it's not happening. I cannot say more to you guys because I want to go to Emerald. I already did a practice run. I think I got it figured out because I need to have at least 16 kilograms of fish. Uh, but uh, I was really happy how it went. I was really happy. Uh, because I'm always a little bit in trouble. There is Northern Pike too in uh, in Emerald. And uh, but they are not easy to catch. And I'm almost thinking, do I need to go to the right side? But I did now a test without going to the right side uh, of the of the dock. And uh, it worked really well. So I stayed at the left side. So uh, that's always good. Yeah, it's not going to happen guys, it can, it can happen, it can happen, so one more and then I'm out of here and uh, I hope that you guys can reach the semis. I'm, I'm very happy because it's now, I think, the last tournament that I got the semis was the Salmon uh, tournament. I just hope that Saturday once again, because uh, yeah, that they don't reload the whole time, because... The last semi-finals and even the winner. Uh, yeah, the, the one that I made, the salmon one, even the winner. Here he locked three times in the semis. Three times. Uh, most of the time I just put my shed off. Because uh, it's, it's, it's very bad for my, uh, for my mood, I need to say. If you're with like five or ten people. And you see you're not catching fish and those guys like five, like six, seven, they just reloj and the next fish is unique. Yeah. On that moment, I'm a little bit afraid of it because that's almost why I stopped doing tournaments. But at the end, I'm having so much fun and at the end, I'm not exploding. Uh, yeah, exp exploiting. So, uh, and yeah. It's a pity, but yeah, it's how it is. I cannot do a lot about it. If it is allowed, it's allowed, you know. That's uh, that's how it works. Yeah, it's not biting anymore, guys. It's that. It's that the place. I got a couple of small bites. That's a normal pike, I think. But uh, it needs to pick up again. Yeah, that was another bite. But they are not striking as the first tower at the moment. Maybe I need to go to the X-Series or do I need to change the lure? That's possible too. But I don't think so. Okay, that was it guys. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye bye.